Do you have any New Year's resolutions? I want to learn how to paint, freehand, birds and butterflies, but I'm not quite there yet, so I decided to make over my refrigerator with a stencil. Is this cheating? In my heart, I feel how this year's end should be. These flowers right here, they are a new stencil. This week, I'm sharing how to make a stencil look hand-painted. And I'm letting you in on what we had for Christmas, along with some fun projects down at the store as we get ready for the workshop. Christmas Day, hallelujah, play the song the season brings. Ring. It is Christmas Eve morning. I'm headed into church, but I just noticed how cute my new Bible from Jamie Ray looks with my purse. A boots from Poshmark, leg warmers from Free People, old anthro dress, hot pink Bible. Kelly's pink car. Look at how cute. This from a friend of mine at church. I love it. My sister wanted us to meet at her house at 7.30 a.m. to open gifts. And she wanted us to wear our PJs. I needed new ones, so I went to Johnny Waz and I saw these beautiful hand-painted flowers. And I knew that that was the perfect inspiration to paint my refrigerator. It is 7.10. I'm supposed to be at my sister's house at 7.30. That's when she wants us all there to open gifts. We're all grown. I don't feel like we need to get there that early, but we're supposed to come over in our pajamas. I have to pack up all the gifts. Her house is 10 minutes away. But I have to finish this. We're going to take our family photo. And yes, I just yes. wanted to show you <laughs> our like gift situation. What? The tree oh. is bursting with gifts. Happy birthday, baby Jesus. <laughs> I was late. I was supposed to be yeah, here at 7 An hour ago. <laughs> Debbie, are you going to get in here? How? <laughs> How do I do it? Um, please take the photo. Here, I'll do a selfie. I wanted to show you a couple of the things that I got for Christmas. Look at these. My sister gave me these. They are free people shoes. My niece Emma got me this blanket, also from free people. This top, this is not a Christmas gift. These flowers right here, they are a new stencil. Jamie Ray let me design some stencils and I wanted big flowers and birds and a mermaid. I'm also going to ask her if I can do one more with butterflies. She sent me the stencils. They were amazing and then I didn't use them for the longest time because stencils scare me a little bit. And you may have noticed in some of the videos from the past that my refrigerator looks really funky. I painted it green and then I started putting the stencils on it and I didn't like it. If I start something out and I don't like it, a lot of times I'll just procrastinate. I have this inspiration photo that I found on Pinterest and these flowers are growing up this refrigerator. It's, I'm going to try and emulate the look but in my own way and you can buy the stencils from me. I have them on my website. You can tell me in the comments if you think that I achieved the look. It is starting to look softer and more blended. Now I am going to do the third flower and the leaves. Hey Debbie, we are so glad that you are finally using your bird stencils. It may be just past Christmas and you might have had them for a few months, but we're super excited to see what you do with them. It's always better late than never, right? I, I live my life doing projects that I should have done a year ago. Creativity always takes time. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Emma baked keto <laughs> treats for everybody. So put it on. Let's see how it looks on you. Ah, you look great. So that's to keep your head warm and to oh, cover really? your hair in the morning <laughs> when you take Levi for a walk and you don't want to take time to like brush your hair first. So you don't have to wear the cowboy hat. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I love it. Oh my oh. <laughs> All right, you guys saw me wrapping this in the video. We'll see if she I, likes it. I was honest. I stopped the video and fast forwarded. I did not see it. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful, Debbie. <laughs> it is Wednesday. I really want to finish this today. The fridge over there, a peek of the bird. I have this underlayer done. 
I've had this idea in my head to see if I could use a stencil kind of like how you would use a paint by number. Because I'm just learning how to paint, I need help with composition. I'm using the stencil and just chalking in the outlines and then painting the under color. Then I'm using reference photos to kind of remind me of where the highlights and the shadows would go in a flower. Good morning! It is Wednesday and this is my little station over here. You can see my little chair and computer water that's essentials and then this big coffee mug and I'm going to be spending the day editing. Debbie is at home working on her refrigerator. Let's get into that. Also you're going to die when I show you the dogs like Bobby. I can't thank you enough because they have not ripped up these toys yet and they just like cuddle with them. They cuddle with the fish. Like it's so cute. Look at this. Look at this right now. Do you guys share your fish? Right here? The fish? I am using Little Black Dress and Hey Sailor as my undercolor for the birds and the flowers because I know that when you use the deep dark colors in contrast with the bright colors, it makes the bright colors pop even more. The stencil allows me to use a method called isolated learning. There are so many different skills when learning how to paint. In my opinion, I can get right to the fun part, which is the color combinations, the blending, learning where the highlights and the shadows go. And it also gives me a greater likelihood that I'll have a beautiful result in the end. I do need to learn the other things, but this way it's not so overwhelming. Gosh, get out. <laughs> Those are so stinking cute. This is for you, Sadie. Goodness, Rita's making waffles. Look at this. So that everybody can have it at the same time. I love it. Keto quiche and brie. Hey, look at this. Oh my god. What is that? It's a Christmas oh my ornament. God, I'm gonna put that in my ear. I'm gonna make it my neck. <laughs> you can wear it like that. You can put a chain on it. Katie, you got your baby? She's giving me a gift, but I have to give her the container back. So all of you who said that that was rude. <gasps> Ice cream. <laughs> so patients no, sent me these and they're Ellie's favorite. Oh, thank Ellie. you, patients. There is a YouTube channel that I follow called Julie Marriott Art. She has a lot of really good tutorials on how to paint flowers, butterflies, and birds, and she explains it in a way that I can grasp. I am using a lot of the principles that I learned from her videos, and I also pulled up some of her flowers on Instagram to kind of use as a reference photo. Even though her flowers are totally different than these stencils, the concepts of the deep dark colors being in the center of the flower and the highlights on the edge of the petals was really helpful for me. And I will put her channel link in the description box. It's out there. <laughs> what is that? I got steak. <gasps> it's a ribeye. Ooh. Ooh. Red shoes and a red book. Every time, every time I turn the camera on, you got nothing to say. But you, yes, I do. You, I like red. Did you sell the coffee table? I sold the coffee table to some really nice people. Did they pay full price? No. Did they try and come down on the price? No. A good idea to bargain with me. <laughs> You're not paying more. Good morning from my kitchen floor. It is Thursday morning. I have been working on this since Tuesday. These flowers are pretty much finished. These are all the painterly colors that I have been using. Painterly is water activated, similar to DIY paint. One of the things that I don't like about using acrylic paint, I get anxiety because once the acrylic paint dries, it's over and it's expensive. So. I squeeze out my painterly onto this little tray right here. It's like a, a ceramic palette. And then when I'm not using it, I just put a dish over the top and it keeps it wet. I don't have to worry about it and I'll spritz it with a little bit of water and also do the same thing with DIY paint. See how DIY gets all caked up and corroded around the edge? It's because of all the clay in it. We have another video where we show where we take the completely dried paint, put it in a bullet grinder and add water and turn it back into paint. 
You can pretty much do the same with this. You can blend it, you can reactivate it, and you don't waste it. DIY paints are made very similar to the way paints were made in antiquity, without any fillers, plastics, or acrylics. And because of that, it's a lot easier to get an authentic vintage finish. No boxes here. And no boxes there. <laughs> Just showing Debbie how far we've, you've come. <laughs> Look, he's almost done. He's Keto almond cake. cake. Nut chia pudding with orange cream to go on top of the homemade Smart waffles. This is my Christmas breakfast. I've got keto waffles, chia pudding, quiche, almond tart, and espresso. But what is this? Okay, I got oh it. Oh my gosh. I got it. Is that your salmon? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so you, this belongs to Levi, so don't let him know you're eating it. Uh, uh, uh. Sit down. The refrigerator took me about a week to finish, and I was really trying to keep in mind what I said in last week's video. I tend to get greedy with all the bright colors. I just love them, but they end up looking like they belong in a kid's room. You really need those deep, dark colors to ground it and make it look more grown up. I like to use the DIY colors as a base and then add the brights over the top and you get this beautiful contrast. Like what I was saying in last week's video, how the brights are even brighter with the darker color underneath. That is totally true. That's why you saw me stencil down black and dark blue as the base so that that under color is showing through. I'm gonna go into the background and shade it a little bit. I'm gonna add some branches. I also am gonna take down all my Christmas decorations and I need to head over to the store and see what my dad's doing there. Dad, your house is looking good. See bye. These are his colors. I can't keep that. He, every time he jumps on the couch, he messes it up. Uh, well, at least he's not messing up your couch. <laughs> Do you like your orange door? Yeah. Did a good job. I guess it would be good for Halloween, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's nautical. My sister hung up the art I gave her for Christmas. I have a lot of projects planned in the new year for her house and my dad's house. I'm set the sun, I'm ready to run, I'm walking a tire up. I'm using weathered wood for the branches because I need more of those deep, dark grounding colors. I forgot to tell you that this stencil is my collaboration with Jamie Ray Vintage. I wanted something large scale so that you could do furniture or things like a refrigerator. So this is the flower stencil and the bird stencil combined. You can order it off my website. You can get it from the DIY retailers. I like how you can customize it. There must be a reason why my heart just keeps on bleeding it feels like there's nothing i can do i need your love it is friday morning i just finished my coffee it must be around 7 a.m the refrigerator is almost done i blended in the background I should have done that before i even started it was too flat and it was too light i wanted some deeper colors so i had to painstakingly go in around all the birds and the branches yesterday it looks so much better i have to seal it and i also have to let the retailers know that this new stencil is coming out and that they can sell it <laughs> i've been putting that off because I wanted to show them the finished picture. I'm going to announce that today. There's going to be another stencil coming out. I thought it was going to be a mermaid, but now I'm thinking I want butterflies. As soon as Christmas is over, I'm ready for spring. I'm going to take that tree down today. I'm going to let this house delete itself of Christmas decor so I can get my space back. The store needs to be reorganized so that we can get ready for the workshop. That is happening in less than three weeks. If you would like tickets to the workshop, I'm gonna put the link down below. We would love to have you. We've sold more than half of them, but we still have some tickets left. Come celebrate with us. When I was talking earlier about how I blended the background and went in to all the detail, with tiny brushes around all these flowers and the birds, I want to show you the difference. Here is the front all blended and you can see the side is not blended and see what a huge difference it makes. Look at that little bit of glow up. Oh my gosh, so pretty. 
This is one of the beautiful reference photos I used while painting my refrigerator. It is from Julie Marriott and her Instagram page is filled with beautiful florals, birds, and butterflies. I highly recommend you go check it out. She also has some paid tutorials and some free ones on her YouTube channel. Good morning. It is Saturday. The refrigerator is done except for the wax. The wax will protect it. It will deepen the colors. When it first goes on, it looks kind of patchy. It looks like you ruined it because our waxes are natural and so are our paints. I'm gonna put the clear wax on first. I'm gonna use the little dipper brush right here and then I'm gonna go in with some detail brushes and I'm gonna apply the black wax and I'm gonna blend that out. Be very careful when using the black wax or the white wax. If you get too much black wax on, you can use the clear wax like an eraser. I like to use the dark wax in the places where the shadows would be to create even more depth and highlights. Feel I know. For I am with I just wanted to show you how it looks when it's freshly waxed. See how it looks really severe and blotchy. Because our wax is natural and our paint is natural. The paint drinks in the wax at different levels depending on how thick the paint is and what's underneath. You have not ruined it. You just need to let it dry. Let it dry for eight hours and then buff it and it will go back to looking soft and beautiful, slightly deeper than it was before the wax. I am at the grocery store. I thought I was gonna finish the video tonight, but things did not work as planned. On Saturday night, I was frustrated because I wanted to post the video, but the wax wasn't dry. It took more than 24 hours to dry, and I think it's because the refrigerator is made out of metal. Normally, you paint furniture that's made out of wood, and the wax can sink in and absorb and dry faster. But this was just not the case, so I had to wait. And I couldn't post the videos without the final pictures of the finished refrigerator looking good, not blotchy. So here it is. I love you, Madeline. I love you madly I love you madly I'm madly in love with you To find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store, click the link below. And to get tickets to the workshop, or the stencils, or all the products used in this video, the links are below. Thanks for watching. From the moment that I felt your kiss, there was something that served me like crazy. You